Serenoa delivers the salt to Svarog, a powerful minister of Esfrost who secretly wishes for Gustadolf's defeat. After learning of Roland's identity, Svarog swears to fight beside House Wolfort to bring down their common enemy. Gustadolf's power grows greater by the day, but House Wolfort is not idle in the meantime. They look to strengthen their own forces, slowly but surely. After seeing the illicit salt to Esfrost, Serenoa makes haste to Hyzant. The Holy One has invited both them and Sorcelay End to the palace. Lord Serenor Wolfort, we are pleased to have you in the capital. Well met. Are you attendant to the Holy One? I do have that honor, yes. I am afraid preparations for your audience are still underway. Pray wait a while longer. Very well. There is no rush. Your patience is appreciated. We shall find you once we are ready. We should take this chance to see the city. We still do not know why we were summoned. Rumors, fickle as they may be, may help us steel ourselves for what is ahead. Somehow, I doubt that the commoners are privy to the thoughts of the goddess. Still, it would do us well to acquaint ourselves with her subjects. For the sake of our budding relationship with Hyzant, if nothing else. I agree. Then shall we split up to cover the most ground? I have a mind to visit the source. As you wish. Once we have finished, let us return here to share what we have learned. This country is quite... pleasant, isn't it? Not a dour face in sight. Quite the opposite, in fact. To see their smiles, you would think that inequity, envy, and jealousy were things of fairy tales. A well-governed populace is a happy populace. Or so they say. Tis an example we could learn from, methinks. If I may speak plainly, I find it somewhat unsettling. Unsettling? How so? Smiles do not always show joy. Is it truly possible to sate the wishes of every woman and man? Are you implying something nefarious is behind all this? Not necessarily. However, I was taught that for every laugh, Somewhere a tear is shed. This country was not built without its share of sacrifice. Of that, I am certain. I understand your hesitation, Anna. But I think it is unfounded. A country who cares for its citizens is cared for in turn. It needn't be any more complex than that. So, did you discover aught of value? We did. The rumor on everyone's lips is that Minister Sorsley has brought House Wolfort to heal. <sighs> News travels faster than I would expect. That may very well be the reason for our audience. If so, then the time may soon be upon us to decide if we are loyal to Hyzant or otherwise. I will wander the city a little longer. I shall return soon. It's as we feared, milady. None but Hyzantians can enter the source. I see. I would have liked to see where my mother was raised, and where she spent her final days. Her final days? She died here? Many years ago. I know little else of the circumstances of her passing. I thought she escaped this thrice forsaken place. She did. She fled during the chaos of a Rosellan uprising in the midst of the Salt Iron War. It was then that she met my father, 
the former Archduke. And from their union, I was born. A daughter of Esfrost. Then how'd she... No. Was she captured? In a way, yes. Esfrost was forced to surrender her, or take responsibility for the war's outbreak. And then... well... What a damned farce. I was lonely and heartbroken, but the pendant she left me shone the way through my darkest days. Can't tell you how sorry I am. And dark days there were. Esfrost was her home, but there were those who would not let her forget her ancestry. That she was able to ignore her detractors speaks to the strength of her character. That she excelled in her studies does even more so. You flatter me, Gila. I would never presume to do such a thing. My lord, I kept your better half safe for you. Thank you, Eridor. Did you learn aught of interest? We did. It seems all members of the Saintly Seven have gathered at the palace. All of them? Could that have something to do with us? Perhaps, though it certainly bodes ill. In any case, it is clear that we are expected to honor the Hierophant's request for an audience. Demand may be a better word to use. Then perhaps we should return before the attendant comes to seek us out. House Wolford has not a single heroic deed to their name, yet the Hierophant grants them audience? As if they are worthy to stand by my side before the Holy One. What is the meaning of this? Perhaps there is no need to take offense. Perhaps you are being honored. You did bring a formidable ally into the flock, after all. That is a curious interpretation. <laughs> the others in the Order are breathless with jealousy at your achievement. They have spoke of naught else since the news arrived. Twas no great feat. The Wolfers were lost, sniveling, begging for a hand to guide them. The others needn't know that, however. Soon you will have the ear of the Goddess. You will be the envy of Hyzant. It is well past time for that decrepit Edor to relinquish his position. The future belongs to House End. At last. I shall see that you have a place in it, Denebris. What a gullible fool. I, Sorsley End, have brought Serenoa Wolfort to answer the summons of the Holy One. Very good. Then let us begin forthwith. In the name of the Holy One and the Goddess, I shall begin her inquiry into the misappropriation of our nation's salt. Huh? An inquiry? Serenoa Wolfort shall be questioned first. Sorsley End stands accused of forsaking the goddess's blessing, of abusing his station to indulge his own insatiable appetites. You, Serenoa Wolfort, stand accused of aiding his plot, of sullying your own hands by transporting his ill-begotten ware. I stand accused? On what grounds, Edor? Minister Sorsley, I would advise you to temper your words in the presence of the Holy One. You would dare chastise me? For generations, the goddess has entrusted House End with her salt, the lifeblood of our nation. 
I have treated my duty only with the utmost respect. Just hearing these outrageous charges makes my stomach churn. Really? Then I shudder to imagine your condition whilst you pen these ledgers, delivered to us by one of the soldiers from the source. I thought the numbers were quite odd, and when I compared them to the ledger at headquarters, I quickly understood why. Forgive me, Minister Sorsley. Staying silent would have meant my death. Your death? How swiftly your underlings betray you under the slightest pressure. Now, if you are very well finished, let us continue. Lord Serenoa, did you aid Sorsley in these crimes? Answer with the understanding that falsehoods will be treated as affronts to the goddess's mercy and punished accordingly. I understand. It is true. We helped Sorsley peddle his salt. Serenoa, you cur! On behalf of all Hyzant, I thank you for helping us excise this rot from our nation. Be that as it may, the fact remains you bear some responsibility in allowing that rot to fester. Such misdeeds must be answered for. You should have come to us immediately upon finding out his true nature. You had ample opportunity. I admit the fault is ours, but it was not a judgment made lightly. We had to act to protect our home and our people. It was the only way to prevent the loss of both. Hmm. Your plight has not fallen on deaf ears. However, a crime committed under duress is... For that, I have no words. Only hope. Hope that you will find mercy for us. For my people, I beg of you. Allow our house to enter the protection of the Holy One. You love your subjects deeply, that is plain to see. Very well. I shall state your case to the Holy One on your behalf. Saranoa Wolfort, heed well the words of the Holy One. Your house safeguards the very heart of Norzelia, and the Wolfort name is known near and far for its fierceness in upholding its duty. The Holy One believes it would be a great loss if your home were to fall victim to Esfrost's ambition. The Saintly Seven has just recently bid farewell to one of its members. His position would be yours if you would take it. My lord, this... However, there is the matter of the Roselle that dwell within your borders. The Holy One would see them returned to the flock where they belong. <laughs> Their home is in the Source, our Holy Land. They are descendants of criminals and worse. Their lot is to offer themselves to the Goddess, so that the sins of their forebears may be cleansed. The Holy One would see all Roselle serve her in penitence. Such you would have us betray the Roselle under our protection? Such mortal judgments are not her concern. The Goddess has spoken. Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? 
My father as well likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, my friends. I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you decided? Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcely's corpse. You've got some nerve! I speak from experience when I say that the title of Saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled, the blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed. Poor options both. <laughs>